just set up the uh, live on uh, the recording. That's why it took me a couple of minutes. I hope you had a lovely week. Uh, enjoyed the sunshine, enjoy all the warm light, and in the early summer, the growth of the energy of the summer. Today, we are going to carry on with our revision into health qigong ba duan jin, as well as moving on to more of qi, uh, tai chi movements, the 10 step form. Let's start the class. Okay. Let's make all zero and open palm with the thumb pushed in. Join the fist and palm together. Our special salute. Rotate, pushing out and a slight bow. Respect to each other and respect to ourselves. Our traditional Chinese culture. Good. Now follow me. I will go through the usual warm up sequence and then we'll go through the um, Ba Duan Jin, eight pieces per case. I'm retreating slightly so you can see the feet. And as usual, entering, take a moment, entering into the state of the mind and the body. Crown is lifting up, it's growing tall, shoulders are rounded down, your feet and toes are firmly connected with the ground, with the earth, mother earth of yin energy, softening ankles and knees, and from the heel to your toes, take your time, step shoulder width apart, centralize your body weight, and follow me onto your neck, gazing down, extend the chin down, and easing out, inhale, as you gaze up, stretch, exhale, easing out, inhale, as you stretch down, Lengthening the back of your neck, keeping the shoulders open and broad. Exhale as you ease out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, easing out. Now let's try to involve with the arms to help with the neck muscle. Cupping the ears and using your index finger to drum the heavenly drum a few times. Good. And releasing tensions and stiffness to the back of your neck. And now gazing down and bring your elbows in. Squish. And slide your hands down. And raise the chin. Stretch up. And bring your hands down. Again. No more tapping this time. Just go stretch the back of your neck. Contractions and sliding hands down. Stretching up. Good. And change. Now we're going to do the sideways, the ear drop, lengthen the, the crown upward, up and over to your left. Get close as you can to your shoulder, easing out. Lengthen up, up and over. When we do our exercise, try to keep the mind calm, quiet. The breathing smooth. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale as you side stretch. Inhale, floating back. Exhale as you relax into that side stretch. Well done. Easing out. 
Now let's try to extend with our arms and float your left hand over to the opposite ears, lengthen up, up and over. No pressing from the head, just gently help to open the side muscles. Easing out, swapping over the other side and over and stretch. Lengthen, keeping in mind we're constantly making space. And the last time we do one more on each side. Try to keep a breath cycle when you're ready. Lengthen up, up and over. As you get closer to the maximum, comfortable maximum, try to pause for a couple of minutes or seconds. So the energy doesn't stop, continues to expand and stretch. Last time, extend your right hand up over, touching the outer opposite ears, lengthen and relax into that stretch. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Feel the opening from the side neck muscles. Lovely. Well done. And now let's move on to our shoulders. Shoulders in, lift up and roll back. And again. Inhale as you lift your shoulders up. Exhale as you roll down. So one more time. Forward. Upwards and exhale. Let's work our way back the other way. Open, expand, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Take your time progressively to a deeper level, deeper layers in the muscle group. Wonderful. And moving on to our hands on top of the shoulder. And now we're going to draw the big round circle. Open wide. And floating your elbows up. Up towards the ceiling. And squeeze. Elbows touching if you can. Well done. Again. Inhale. As you circle up. Exhale, as you rotate the shoulders down. One more time. Deep inhale. And long, smooth exhale. Wonderful. Let's walk our way back the other way. Squeeze in. Inhale. Exhale. Progressively, we open more and open deeper. Expand more, expand longer. Last time, inhale and exhale. Well done. Feel your arms are really heavy now. Good. After all that shoulder rotation, we now need to release, let go, and melt away all of the tension, stiffness, and build up throughout the week. Soften your knees. You notice there's a little bit soften the knees and allowing the, all of the major joints in the body to be soft. And now let's go try the sideways. Release, release. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So it's a little bit shallower breathing than previous. But it lets you go is the main point. Good. And those who are already familiar with this and can sit back onto the heels. Onto the heels. Good. The more we can let go, the better we actually allow the energy to flow. Good. Now in your own time, let's just float and give a few expansions to the spine. Palms in and floating up high. Shoulders down, hands up, ground up. Keep lengthening up, up and over to your left. And easing out. 
This is really good for the first thing in the morning. Open the lungs, inhale, exhale. As you softly but deeply stretch to the side. Well done. Now we're going to carry on today, rotating to the left and floating, extending out. Keep lengthening away and try to extend it down towards your left ankle and go well towards the right in front of your toes to the opposite ankle and slowly float yourself up. Good. Keep your shoulders down. Return back to front and bring your hands, floating the hands down. And now let's place the hands round to the lower lumbar. Okay, so side views if you want to really support well of the lower lumbar, squeeze the buttocks, the muscles, and lengthen and lengthen up from the crown. Turn. On this arching the back, you can uh, keep your chin in as you do, rather than extending it to the back of your throat, depending on how you feel. You have the choice of either extending the tailbone forward, but keeping the, the neck a little bit more straight, like this, and or if you feel comfortable and balanced, you can then extend into the crown and slowly push and return so there's huge two options to um, suit how you feel okay now let's do some um, stretching on our legs so today we're going to do forward stretch um forward if you turn your left toe out you take your right foot forward we'll do the front demonstration okay and sit back. So just finding the hip track forward is one. And retreat is two. Forward is one. And backward is two. Make sure you're balanced. And now we're going to add in our arms. Open, arms sideways is one. Two. Sit back. Place your hands on your knees, extending the shoulders and head forward towards your shin and your toes. Well done. Floating your front knee forward and return to posture one, position one. Two, sliding back, folding over, tummy to your spine, lengthening from the crown and shoulders and folding over to your shin as much as you comfortably can. And easing out, feeling the pulling and stretching at the back of your hamstrings and calves. Last time, inhale as we open forward. Exhale, as you sit back and rotate, folding over, tummy to your spine, lengthening forward. Well done, and gently return to position one, inhale. To close from this side, we'll transfer weight back, and draw, slide your front foot back in, hands floating down. Now let's try the opposite side, turning your right toe out, left foot forward. Good, so your front foot, and the back foot is about corner 45 degrees. Rest your hands to your hip waist, forward first, and sit back, and lift your front toe up. You may already feel the pulling at the back of your calf. And we we'll just warm up a couple more times. Forward, flex your knees in line with your toes, and sliding your body weight back. Good. And ready. 
with an add the arms in. Inhale, expand. Exhale, as you're sliding down, tummy to the side, folding over, crown, shoulder, extending forward. And easing out. Return to position one. Inhale again. Exhale. Long, smooth exhale. As you fold over and stretch. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Long, smooth. Tummy push to the spine. And folding over. Lengthen away. Well done. Return to position one. Arms open. And to close from this side, we treat your body weight and sliding the front foot back in, floating the hands down. Well done. And now I'm just slightly coming forward. We're now going to practice once more uh, our strength into our foot area. This muscle will help to protect our knees and is very important to we'll get it right. So we're going to take a wider step. Okay, it's about one and a half your own shoulders width. And try to keep your feet parallel to the front, what we know as the horse riding stance. We will use this in Tai Chi and Qigong very regularly. So rest your hands to your hip waist and soften your knees, sliding and sitting down. Feel your knees are flexing in the same direction as your toes, as your feet. Parallel forward. Good. The outer corner of your knees in line with your little toes. And try not to collapse inwards. And slide yourself up. Good. Now bring your attention to the back of your spine. We want to feel your spine sliding down. As you sit down, with the correct toe position, correct knee position. So back is nice and straight. And sliding up. Great. And once more, we're going to pay attention to our breathing. Okay, inhale. As you do the exhale, we're sliding down. Sitting, sliding down. That's it. If you can, we can pause here for a couple of seconds and slowly rise up. And now the last time, we're going to add our breathing open wide. Open, extending upwards, palms together. Inhale, B. Long, smooth exhale. As you sit down, Imagine the stools getting a little bit lower. Pause for a couple of seconds. Trying to keep your breathing channel open. Well done. That's it. Really good. And you may already feel getting warm now. Let's bring the heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in. Just giving yourself a gentle shake. Good. So the warm up is very, very important um, for our regular classes. Otherwise, we might get overstretched. So today we are, uh, oh, I want to just add one more uh, balance exercise because today in our Tai Chi movement, we use balance, so we're standing on one leg. So I'm gonna suggest a couple of um, um, aids. Okay, so if for those who are not familiar, are not sure about balance, please bring yourself a chair or a table on the side. So make sure you feel safe when you practice this. Okay, so today we embark on, uh, on a kaiji standing on one leg. So first one, I would like you to try 
um, just bring it back to the mixture. You can see my feet. Okay, so on the balance, always before you stand up, you want to sink, you want to go down, right? So the idea is before, yes, uh, go up, but we first need to connect with our ground, with the mother earth, and sh quietly shift your weight over and raise the left foot, raise the left foot, and really feel that you're standing up, you're standing up, okay? Now we're just going to try to do the up and down back connections. Okay, sink with the support of the chair, sink. So you now have your toe touch the ground. And now push yourself up and feel there's a lift, string lifting the crown. Good. This is both for balance and also for strength. And sink, sliding the spine down until your left toe touch the floor and rise feel this energy pulling you up from the crown and your knees keeping in position about your hip level okay good now three times each side so we read and release and land and take your chair over the other side okay so we're going to practice the opposite side. Okay, when you're ready, sink. Always remember before in Tai Chi is yin and yang. Before we go up, we go down. Before we go to right, we go left first. Or before we go left, we go right. Okay, so sink, good. And lift. Feel the crown is growing and takes the knee up at the same time. So it's not the knee bringing itself up, it's the supporting leg lifting yourself up. Okay, let's try to keep the knee where it is and now just sink, bend the supporting leg and, and then you slowly down, touch down with your toes and push. Can you feel you're now using a lot of supporting leg strength? to push the balance. And again. And rise. Good. And slowly soften your knees and bring the other foot down. Okay. You can, once you get the gist of it, please feel connected with your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise, exhale down. Okay, good. So now go back to the first leg and this is our next. This is all preparation for our class today. So don't worry, we're not wasting any time. So the next stage, we have built up the muscles, foot muscles, we have now um, warmed up for balance. I would like you to try to open the foot with me. So sink and soften, transfer the weight, body weight onto one side. And raise, raise the other foot, the knee to your hip level and rise. Golden thread, pulling you up, okay? And open the hip as much as you can. And back. And sink. Good. This is the, our extension. Rise. Open. And back. Good. Are you okay to do one more? And let's go. Just one more. Doing great, everyone. You can feel that engaging of the muscle group. And open. And back. Well done. Soften the other knee, land back. Okay. If you are feel a little bit tension building up, just give yourself a little, like, a little shake. Okay. So move over. Let's do the opposite side. Okay. So again, getting ready. Now we're going to try to guide through some breathing. So sink. Inhale. Open, 
return, sink. Those who are uh, stronger or more flexible, you can keep your knee up without touching the floor. Open and back. Once more, doing great everyone. Sink, keeping the back nice and straight. And push yourself up and open. Return. And soften your knees. And bring the up, both feet down. Okay. All right. Now give yourself a little shake if you are feeling a little bit uh, tired or challenging today because we are moving great, progressing forward. Um, so today, uh, this is the two new um, warm up for you to practice. Now, usually we, we now do the Badon Jin first, it goes through the Badon Jin. And to kind of keep the momentum going today, we're going to start with our Tai Chi today, and then I'll leave um, 15 uh, minutes ish, or 13 to 15 minutes. Uh, we go through the bar and gym as our cooling down exercise today. Good. So last week, I hope you remember, we did wave hands. Yes, we did wave hands and we did feet separately and then we put the hands and feet together. So let's just have a quick recap of our hands. Wave hands like clouds. In Mandarin, it's called yun shou. And I said before, all of our Tai Chi and Qigong names are very poetic, very close, connected with the nature. This is one of the examples, wave hands like the clouds. Okay, so one hand first, you, you can keep the other hands at the back, and oval shaped circle, oval shaped circle. As if you're stroking, and rise. Remember, at the center point, a quick reminder, remember, remind, the finger is diagonal pointing, not vertical, not horizontal. It's somewhere in between. And rotating and sliding along. Well done. And also another reminder from last week and the week before, and the, the hand is not moving by itself. We must use our body and weight to lead the hands, right? I said before last time, it's like driving a car. Our weight is the steering wheel. The hands wouldn't know where to go. Hands are the wheels. If without the steering wheel command, telling it, where to go. So my hands is following my weight and my body. Good. Now two hands. Bring the other hands in as you approach to the end. So the other hands will come in and draw circle opposite circle. Reaching to the corner and now the left hand takes over. And right hand takes over, turn to right. And turn to your left. That's it. Remind ourselves, is the body leading the way? Right, my hands really just see like the lotus, um, the willow tree leaves. It's just waving by the trunk. And turn. Good. When you're ready, we're now going to add our footwork. As you approach to the end, soften your knees. Soften the knees. So sitting down to a high bar stool. And raise the left foot. And step with your toes stretching out. And transfer weight. Turn to your left. And step as you reach the hands to the opposite end. Bring the heel up opposite, 
step in, turn back to the right, the left, the opposite foot will start stepping out. And trunk for weight, turn to your left. Good. When you reach to the end, is the opposite foot. Now I'm reaching to the end of left, is my right foot stepping in. Good. And now when you're ready, we are preparing to work our way back the other way. So no stepping left. And go. So my left foot now is stepping, the right foot stepping out. And turn to right, left foot stepping in. Turn to your left, stepping out to the right. Turn to your right, stepping in from the left foot. Turn to your left, stepping out to your right, and gliding, stepping in, good, and to finish, we are just simply bringing the hands forward, shoulder high, floating the hands down, okay, good, roll your shoulders backwards a little bit, just in case the shoulders a little bit tension building up there. As you can see, when your waist body turn to, to the corner, your foot is moving the opposite way. So remember to turn your waist to that corner position. If, you're, if I pause here, my um, hip uh, or the middle, we call it dantian, in the center of the sternum, the chest, they're all facing diagonally, okay, to the left. This, at this point, your hip is angled, and this will be the best position for you to step out to your right. So this way, uh, your muscles around the hip joints is just nice and soft and ready to expand, okay? Otherwise, if you don't, if your hip is facing forward and stepping out like this, sometimes it can cause a little discomfort into um, the outside of your quads, the, uh, the joints and the muscles. Now, final details. Remember we said before how to make a light step. You need to lift the, peeling the heel off the floor. Heel off the floor and toe, uh, ball of the foot and then the toes. And then when you step out, you need to reach touch down with your toes, big toe, and then put the ball of the foot and then the heel of the foot. This way you can make step nice and smooth and flow. Okay, so let's practice one more time. Pay attention to how the foot floating like the clouds and how your hands can wave without like the clouds floating. Okay, so ready when you are, we are trying to do one hand first the left hand circle, straight away, left hand, left hand join. I do one more without the footwork. Okay, as I approach to the left, soften your knees, sitting down, yes, sit down now. And raise, peeling off the heel and the ball of the foot and step. Two, three. I'm reaching the opposite hand end, step in, four, reaching to the end, one, step, two, transfer weight and turn, three, step in, four, transfer weight back and turn to the left. One more time, one, step out, two, transfer weight, three, stepping in, four, turn back. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to head back. So, step back, one, two, 
three, four, The new posture today is golden rooster standing on one leg. Um, I use the chairs for one moment, but you don't have to. Um, you can do it straight away um, with, um, with on one leg. Okay, I put the chairs here just so that if I, if I needed it. Okay, so as you, I'll, I'll show you the link um, sh shortly after. So the first is how to how to do the hands. We have practiced on standing on one leg. So we we already explained you need to think and write. Okay. Now how the hands go? The hands will go up, forward and up. Okay. The up the corresponding side of the hand and knee will come up together. We'll come up together like this and then sink. Make sure the supporting legs stop and bend and then you swap over. Balance on one leg. Okay. If you are not sure, you can always touch um, support, use the chair. So soften your knees, soften the knees and transfer your weight. So the higher hand gradually. So pull down, press down, and crowd yourself, pushing the supporting leg, pushing your knee up and balance. And this is the hands. If I explain the um, direction, your hands is almost in line with your nose. So without the foot, the tension to the foot, your fingers almost at your eye level. So it should not be like this. Or like this, this is the common errors. And your knee should be tucked up or raised as much as you can so the knee is not to the corner, not open. But we do need to practice the softness or flexibility of the hip and waist. So we do the uh, as a warm up. So your elbows and knees almost feel they are connected by an invisible string. So elbows and knees, as if you're Crown, roll tall, your hands, the string from the elbow, pulling the knee up, almost. So feel this energy, the rising energy goes through you, okay? This is one side, good. And have a look if you can, your eyes can gaze through your hands and fingers. And soften your knees, the supporting leg. And transfer weight. See the hands, corresponding side of the hands all come up together and elbows pointing to your knees and hands in line with your nose, in line with the nose and also in line with the eyes. Some of the common um, mistakes, uh, I do it from the side view, it can be one is the legs doesn't stand up nice and straight. So we have a habit of doing like this. Can you see the my supporting leg? Oh, I can see you. Supporting leg is too too bent, too bent. This is one common mistake. So we need to feel that golden thread pulling yourself up. Okay. So stand up through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, and not excessively bend from the knees because the spirit wouldn't rise, um, the chi, the energy, needs to have the channel rise up to the crown, through the crown, okay? And your uh, the alignment of the uh, major joints also needs to be aligned. 
Good, so that is one thing. The second um, common mistake is, okay, so one, and also, okay, can you see the common error is very much like um, putting your elbows, clunk, just clicking the elbows in. This, this is not a clicking energy here. It is an open expand energy. Okay, so your 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 posture should feel you like a balloon. You expand from all corners. All the joints should be open expand. So internally the energy is outwards. And when you have postures like this, and the energy is only one way is all going down. So elbows uh, downwards, um, your knee and your um, bending knee and the balanced knee. Everything just feels that drawing downwards and like a bag of potatoes and just go zoom. And there's no, not enough rise, not enough expansion in the posture. So this is something that our uh, experienced practitioner needs to uh, seek. So rise, crown, open from the back, not too close. The too close, the balloon will be squashed. There are no expansion in the balloon. There needs to be feel the pushing and pulling back, okay? And also your chest, okay? Not too, too concurved inwards. Needs to be a little bit open. Your shoulders need to be a little bit broad, not to be collapsed inwards. So these few things um, tend to be uh, common errors for our beginners. Okay, so this is the golden rooster standing on one leg. So today, the two new posture um, are wave hands and golden rooster. After the golden rooster, we're having the kick. We're today, we can introduce the kick, you can practice in the kick. Um, this is your homework, <laughs> okay, um, for preparing for next week. Now, your homework is first, like balance, like so. Always remember, sink drop the body weight and raise the knee, if you can, hug your knee towards your tummy, towards your chest. Hug it in as much as possible, okay? It's good. You may feel a uh, lot of extra muscle groups are now engaged. So this is holding it and count to five. Breathe in and out, maybe about two breath cycles. Balance. And then the corresponding hands move in and use one foot and try to do a kick. I'm not saying it's easy. You can use the chair, okay? So do that first. Do this first um, as just the first set. Okay, then swap over to do the other side. Do exactly the same. Hugging and feel that you are balanced. Crown is going up. Knee is close to the chest as much as you can, but this is a really good practice, um, warm up practice. Good for the hips, good for the knees, and of course, um, good for the balance. You can either rest your hands or hands open the opposite way. Okay, so this is, um, your little challenge, make sure you have uh, support of by a desk or a wall or anything that you feel comfortable with. This will prepare us to do our kick to the corner. Okay, now the left go over time is let's connect the two postures together. Uh, wave hands and then to balance on one leg. Uh, I will start from from this posture. Um, some of you have not learned this, this posture before, so pardon the horse's name, but just follow along. Uh, the next you will, you, will, um, you will recognize. So slide your hands along. Now we're starting to do the wave hand. Let's wave hand, yin shou. As you reach the end, step in, turn. To your left, step out. 
turn to your right. No more step. Return. Turn to the left and step in. Turn to your right. Stepping out. And when you reach the left, no more step in. And just transfer your weight back to the right foot. Now draw the left foot in. Golden rooster. Balance on one leg, standing up on one leg. Stop when you're supporting me, sink, land. Now swap over. Good, this is golden rooster standing on one leg. Let's just practice, repeat on this couple more times. One, sitting, uh, landing. Two, crown goes up. Practice and checking in your mind's eye, your alignment, your balance. One more time, soften your knees. Shrunk the weight and balance. Well done. And stepping down, keep shoulder width and sliding hands down. And feet together. Well done. So have, we have now uh, moved over halfway um, quite swiftly um, to our 10 step. Next week, our challenge uh, is to do the kick, left corner kick, left and right. Uh, have a look at the videos I sent you on YouTube. And then it's uh, very close. We do the last the peacock's tail next week. Good. So now is our time um, reconnect with our Qigong practice, the Bao Luan Jin, eight pieces of brocade. Okay, I'm just moving stuff out of the way. Okay, in your own time, take a moment to check your alignment. Crown is going up, shoulders down. Entering into the state of your mind, state of mind into chi. And soften the ankles and knees. And taking half a step to your left. I'm doing the mirrored image. Centralize your weight. Spreading your arms. Feel you are now filled with good energy. Hugging your arms forward. This is our first Jan Zhuang posture. Take a moment to experience your breathing. Inhale and out. Nice and smooth. Treasure number one. Hold up heaven to harmonize. Three triple burner. Gazing forward and sliding hands down. And again. Inhale, big deep. Gazing forward, long, smooth exhale as you soften your knees. Fingers interlocked, inhale, open the lungs, open the chest, gazing forward, long, smooth exhale. Last time, inhale. Long, smooth exhale. Change. Ready for treasure number two. Posing as an archer. Step to the left, cross your hands. Sitting down, drawing the bow open. Look the other way, shrunk the weight. Step in. 
I count by number. One, seven cross. Two, open the bowl, sit down. Three, four. Again, to your left. One, two, inhale as you draw the bowl open. Exhale. Step in. Last time. One. Inhale. Two. Three. Exhale. Half a step back. Return to hugging posture. Treasure number three. Healing the spleen and stomach. Pushing high and low by single hand. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, long, smooth exhale. Inhale. Long, smooth exhale. Soften your knees on the way back. Last time. Inhale. And change. Bring your hands down to the second jam drum position. Fingers forward. Treasure number four. Right, spread, rotate and gaze. Easing out. Two. One, rise, inhale, lengthen away, gazing away. Exhale, as you return, soften your knees. Inhale again, lengthen away, exhale, take your time. Feeding up smooth transitions in the body. Exhale and ready for change. Gather your big large balloon, step to your right, raise the balloon up over the head and sitting down, horse riding stands. Treasure number five, shake the head and sway the tail. Lean, rotate, sit down, sway. To the second line, hip roll, neck roll. Lengthen the way, tailbone and crown. Right, lean, rotate and sway. And hip roll, neck roll, lengthen the way, tailbone and crown, sit down, rise, lean, rotate, swaying over, and hip roll, neck roll, lengthen the way. Last time. Lean. Rotate. Shift your weight. Hip roll. Neck roll. Lengthen the way, sitting down. Change. Spreading your arms. Shift your weight back. Half a step in. Continue to rise. Palm to palm, finger to finger. Towards your hips, soften your knees. Sliding hands forward. Rise. Palm to palm. Slowly, smoothly, rotate and spread for the rib cage. Massage your way down. Flex and bend. 
towards the heels, towards your toes. Sliding down the floor. is a little more difficult to fit in with a perfect breath but you can try to follow the general guidelines general guidelines to breathe in. inhale last time exhale inhale before your massage Exhale as you massage your way down. Inhale, bring your hands to the forward. Sliding, exhale. And inhale as you're floating further up. Well done, change. Sliding hands down, soften your knees. Make your special healing fist. Wider step. To your left. Horse riding stance. Punch, soft punch, glaring eyes, open eyes, open palm, turn, grasp, pull back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, last time, exhale, inhale, shift your weight over, change, feet together, hands open by the side, treasure number eight, balance on the balls of the foot. Shake the body and keeping the hundred illness at bay. Inhale on the way up. Exhale slowly first and let go. Again, inhale and slowly down. Exhale, drop the heels. Last time. Slowly down and release the heels. To return, chi back to the abdomen. Soften your elbows, rest your hands, overlapping your hands back to the abdomen, the navel area. Smooth your breathing. Take a moment in your profound calmness. In your own time, we're just going to do a soft massage. You may feel the warmth of your tummy in your palms and feel the warmth of your palms on your tummy. Back the other way. We're just connecting the good energy in our body and in our palms, three times each way. And gently putting your hands together and you can shake, gently shake your foot a little if you're not used to it, standing still. And so now hopefully you start to recognize or suggest it, noticing the colors of the palms at the beginning and the end of the class. So now we should, hopefully, um, you have warm palm hands. Now we're just going to follow a facial massage. Okay, it's three times from the corner of the mouth, corner of your nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, the forehead, and to each 
temples and then round to the back of your ears and to the back of your skull and back of your neck. That's one. Second time, it's really soothing when we spend a lot of time on computers, on the phones nowadays, working from home, our eyes can be a bit dry and can be a little bit tiring, can be a little bit of a headache, tensions built up here. Last time, third time, there's a lot of meridians in our facial area, which is really good and refreshing to rid of the tensions and stiffness. And good. Lovely. So the last bit of our loosening, cooling down is our tapping off the energy meridians on our arms. Okay, so we're going to do the forward, the inside of the arms go from the wrist one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time. Up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And move over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. A uh, final energized breath in today, and we'll finish our lesson. Okay, take a deep breath, inhale, and hands together, prayer hands, and swiftly coming down. <sighs> to the heart, to the center of your chest. Again, open wide, inhale deep, go. <sighs> Good, last time, inhale. All the positive energy coming in, <sighs> into our hearts, into our meridians. Okay, that's all for our lesson today. I would like to have a, a gentle request. Over the past few weeks, I have always wanted to um, take a screenshot for everybody who attends my Wednesday class. I keep forgetting <laughs> to ask you. So today, can I ask you not to rush off from your Zoom yet and allow me to take a, a screenshot for everybody. Can you turn your camera on? Um, that gives me a big smile, a little wave, maybe a thumbs up, anything, <laughs> okay? And to please do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels and um, keep up to date with our new release, okay? So I, if I may ask for that favor, that every to be everybody to turn your camera on, I will now go into my control panel to uh, take a picture, screenshot, for everybody here today. Okay, just one moment. Okay, let me just. Uh.